Good morning. Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And JD and I are hanging out while Mama curls her hair. Let's go show him your room. We didn't get yeah. to do that. Yeah. So he just watched the video a little bit ago of our vlog from yesterday. Look. How fun. He's got the coolest bunk beds. These are my Tic Tacs that... Oh. from yesterday and it's almost empty. Oh my gosh, did you eat all those by yourself? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, Ray had one. Look at, he's got a dinosaur. Yeah, did you build one. that? Or uh, where did you get this? It's a bunch of pieces. Did you do it? See? Did you put them together? Yeah. You did? You That's see? cool. You should show him your Cub Scout badges. Yeah, where's your Cub Scout badges? He's a Cub Scout. He is not a Weeblow yet. What are you? You're a cub, bear. A bear cub. So, Cub Scouts are fun, huh? These are for my belt. Yeah? Oh, these clip on your belt? Let me see. He needs two more of these, and he becomes a Weeblow, right? Yeah. Yeah? One of them is a knife. One of them is... A tent. And another one is heart-shaped world with three people standing on it. Oh, so how'd you get those? Uh, this one is for the whittling and stuff like that. This one is, I forget, but... For camping? <laughs> no, but I forget. No? Look at that cool backpack you got sure over there. You got like a crocodile Dundee backpack. Huh? Is that your, is that your, um, Boy Scout pack? Yeah. Yeah. Check that out, guys. Look at that pack. And then, he has his own, um, gun safe, right? Yeah. Right here. Pretty much. This is, whoops. How come that won't open now? Oh, you have to push the table back? Yeah. So, he has yeah. his own safe. It's all yeah. his ammo and his firepower is in that closet. Oh, my gosh. And back there. He's got a lot of um, Nerf guns. Huh. Yeah. That, is that your favorite one? Yeah. That's how he pulled his first tooth out was with a Nerf um what was it? A like a long pistol. I thought it was. And then a crossbow. I thought it was crossbow. Yeah. Are you ready to go outside? But that still so wouldn't work. So we. He had to do it something. twice, and he had the guts to do it. I couldn't have done it twice. <laughs> we tied it. Mama tied it around his tooth, and he shot the arrow. Okay, so we gonna go. Yeah. And and <laughs> the bullet went like. But then it just. Like, then it stopped because it was still and, stuck. And, and it was like. Yeah. So were pancakes good this morning? Yeah. Uh, Mamo made, and that's what he calls me, Mamo, um, made oh, homemade pancakes. And you see and this syrup. thing? Right. Woo! What the heck is that? Does that scare Roxy? Uh, only if you like. Undo it in front of her? Okay. So let's not scare her. Or let's like, bang on it in front of her. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. So, oh, yeah. She doesn't like it. Roxy, come on. She's coming in. She, I don't want to scare her. Ooh, it's chilly out. It's only going to be a high of 50 something. So we're waiting for Ray to get back. And look at it. They have this the cutest covered area. I love it. And this swing, went and painted that, huh? Yeah. And then this is a big shop and garage for Ray. He, he does a lot of welding, works on the Jeeps. And this is from they do a lot of four wheeling. Oh, and I'm going to barbecue on that barbecue tonight. You will? Uh, yeah, I think it's an infrared. Anyway, I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, oh, so, just saying the stump daffodils. Is, the stump is completely rotten. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so, oh, I love this. I want, I want one of these for my bird feeders so they can get in there and eat. I love that. Okay. So, you know, we're at the and end the of winter. the grass never grows back. Well, we're at the end of winter, so, and they just, they just moved here last year. They're still working on yard and deciding what they want to do. And this is JD's playhouse. Woo, it's bright out, which is great to see in But Washington. my playhouse is completely infested with stink bugs. <laughs> out of the mouths of babes, guys. You know, mom's going to love that part. Is it? Yeah. Where where are the stink bugs? Everywhere. Well, let me see. I don't see any. Well, they're usually out when it's cold out. So. Well, it's kind of cold out. See, we have stink bugs. They come out when it's warm out. 
I don't see a stink bug one. Oh, you mean inside? Down there? Nope, I don't see any in there either. Well, in there it's mostly spiders. <laughs> and spiders that eat stink bugs. Are, are you sure? Yeah. You need to fumigate? What, what? Ooh, and JD, look. Remember when we did that? That little birdhouse that's up there? Oh, yeah. We did that together last time I was here. Oh, yeah. Now it's got moss growing on it. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, JD and I made that birdhouse, painted it, and stuff. <laughs> that's awesome. I gotta get up here we and have... see in it. There's still no sticks in it. No? No birds per trying to make a nest? No. Darn it. Let's go see if mom's ready. Want to? Uh, yeah. Where are we going after this? Uh, antique shop. We're going to go to the antique shop. Are, are you going to vlog in there? Maybe. I hope so. Yeah? I'm Why? pretty sure everyone else that's watching this hopes this open. <laughs> everyone else that's watching, he says, hopes that I vlog in the antique mall. <laughs> I'll try. Probably. I'll try, because it's okay. It's a little easier to vlog when somebody's with you than if you're by yourself. If you're by yourself, people think you're a nutcase. <laughs> and I'm not quite there. Just close. <laughs> All right. You ready? So, Are you done? Mom? Yeah, just pause oh, the video. Look how pretty your hair looks. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, my daughter's so beautiful. <laughs> I just love pause you. the video. Okay. Until we get there. So, this is Hawkinson, which is another suburb of Vancouver. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're just kind of going. We're on our way to the antique mall. We're taking the scenic route so you guys can see. I mean, it's just tons of trees, green, and lots different than Nevada, that's for sure. Little farming community kind of area. This is the country I grew up in. It brings back tons of memories. Horse pastures, love it. It's very pretty. And then, my back seat blip. There's Ray. Hi, Ray. <laughs> and my back seat buddy. You're not shy, are you? You got a piece of gum now? Yeah. 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 Are you anxious for the antique mall? He's a great antiquer, huh? Do you think you're going to... I gonna, really want to go. Do you, do you really think you're going to find a treasure? Yeah. Yeah. Probably like will. That. I think we will. <laughs> Antique slash thrift slash craft slash crap. <laughs> That's it. Sweet. I love it. Ooh, look at this old army truck. Is that an army truck coming? Wow. Oh, yeah, we're in wine. We're in wine country? Kind of. There's wineries up I knew I smelled something good. <laughs> Can I set the newer smell? <laughs> yeah, this. this. The manure smell to make the wine, or the vineyards grow. Mm. Oh, I like that brick house. That's cool. All right, so we'll see you at the antique mall. So I had to show you guys what I found. Look at this old pressure cooker. Canner. Um, let's see if I can get it off one-handed. I don't know if I can. I just had it off. Hold on. See? There we go. Okay. This is like the coolest thing ever. It even has the original book and the racks in it and wooden handles. If I was home, I would totally get this. This anybody if anybody knows how old this is, let me know. Um I would just want it as a keepsake kind of thing because I'm such a avid canner. But isn't that awesome? This would hold um it's got to be a 16 quart. It would hold seven quart jars. Anyways, what a fun find. And look at the price. It was 40. Now they only want 25. And my suitcase isn't big enough. Boo! So cool. There's some cast iron back there. I did buy an old canning jar with a glass lid. But this is the kind of spot we're at right now. Um... They got, you know, this and that, and some stuff is antique and vintage, and some t stuff isn't. So, I don't know where everybody else went. 
I'm lost in the jungle of fun. <laughs> Old um, iron, antique iron, popcorn poppers. Oh, look. Oh, Michelle. In Canada, you would love that. Put that out in your garden. All right, I'll see what else we find. Come here, be over here with me. Look at all this cool stuff. Uh, old, old, yeah, old linens and stuff. There he York. is. He's my buddy. Yep. See the red light flashing? That oh, means yeah. It's recording. So we found a couple little things. Ooh, look at those boots. Marbles. Huh. Look at those boots, JD, that are down there. Right, right there by your foot. Oh. oh yeah. What size are they? I don't know. Hmm. They got these old linens and um, old clock. Yeah. Quilts. I love this quilt, and it's very well loved. That's very pretty, though. Gosh, I'd love to have it. I don't have room. You guys. Tiny, 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 tiny little baby doll. Yeah, oh, oh there's a little itty bitty, and there's a Kermit, a random Kermit the Frog. Hmm. I get my finger. All right, so, I'm looking at, um, some stuff in here is like reclaimed wood. Some stuff's uh, kind of newer. Doesn't my voice this sound? Doesn't my voice sound weird when you replay the video? No, it sounds funny to you though, huh? It sounds different. This is an old wooden. Oh, look at that. File cabinet. Look at that. Wow. That's cool. That's very awesome. How much? What is this thing? Old wood. Seventy-eight dollars. Giant. That's screw. a deal. Leave it. No, that's that's a that's part of the filing cabinet. This giant screw. Mm-hmm. Very cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, there's an old scale. Oh, that's, that's a baby scale to lay a baby on. Oh. And a headboard and the tech baby scale. Yeah. Very cool. I just a lot of I'm retro guessing stuff in here. Anymore, so. this thing is all crooked. What else? Our invisibility cloak. He's talking about Predator? Yes. Yeah. What did you order for lunch? We're at Red Corn Robin. Dog. Corn dogs. dogs and French fries. Corn, corn doggies. Mm-hmm. What'd you order? A wrap and a beer. Nice. That's right. Happiness. That's, that's right. Here's our awesome waiter, John Rambo. Where'd he go? <laughs> and Ray is washing his hands. There you go. Isn't that awesome? I can't I'm excited about the readers coming to eat. Yeah. Even though I have my in-laws are there, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty awesome okay so we're back home from lunch and I just want to show you what we got and so um, Whitney loves this galvanized old stuff and this is an old mop bucket and so you would put your mop in there and then set it down and wring it out through those wooden rollers and you would put your foot on there and then just pull your mop back out. And that would have been one of the old string mops, but the label is still kind of on there. And she got a neat hook. The label is still on there. Nice hook. Where are you gonna hang that? I don't know, I might hang a plant from it or something. Outside, outside. it'd be really cute, outside on the plant. And then I got, I got this jar. Now it's a cur jar, <laughs> but mason jars, and ball jars are the same. Are you trying to poke me with your sword? And then it's got an old ring on it and a glass lid. And so I went ahead and got it because they're interchangeable. I think he wants to be on camera. What do you think? <laughs> so we went to Red Robin and this guy ate more than anybody. I had to bring home half of my salad. Hey man. And um, he had half of a big wrap and Corn dogs. So <laughs> you're gonna get yourself in trouble. Anyway, um, oh, and she got this. I think she's gonna put a plant in this, and she's like she's gonna decorate. I think her porch with some of this kind of stuff. So we are gonna get to cutting up chicken, or I am. I'm gonna cut up some chicken. We're gonna have barbecue chicken, a salad. You can probably make the salad, huh? Wait. Where'd Ray go? I don't. <laughs> He's, 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 camera shy. he's a little camera shy, but I think we're going to get him out of that because I don't believe in camera shy people. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Roxy says, I'm not camera shy. I'm waiting quietly to find a door. Where is he? Oh, baby. Where is he, Roxy? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, 
We'll catch him when he comes in. Yeah. Because he's a handsome guy. You guys should meet him. He's really nice. He treated us to lunch. <laughs> and so, oh, look at this. See, this is the kind of stuff. I love this. I really love this. And there was so much stuff there, like that pressure cooker that I would have loved to have brought home, you know, just to have that, something vintage like that. And then, um, anyway, but I didn't get to do it. So I'm gonna cut up some chicken and we'll see how we barbecue later. All right, Ooh, wait, hold on. Photo bomb coming up. Maybe. Wait for it. There he is, the man of the hour. Hi, Ray. You may not pass. <laughs> this is my handsome future son-in-law. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. Say hi. He's he's such a good guy. So this is my daughter's boyfriend, and and he's awesome to my grandson, which is very important. Even though JD is right be now. beating him with a sword, JD. <laughs> Ah. There we go. There we go. No more sword. <laughs> All right. What's up with the hat? I got it from a Halloween costume. Oh. What were you for Halloween? Army guy. Okay. Army guy, will you take me out and tell me all about your mama's Jeep? Yeah. Come on. We're going to go outside and show you the Jeep. Because some of you complimented on the inside. And it's really, really pretty. But I'm just gonna tell you, I cannot get in and out of this thing very easy. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I have a hard time. Yeah, you forgot about that balloon we got. Just put it up there for now. Can you open the gate? Yeah. Oh, GD. Come on. I, I don't know. Okay, you're not on the bed for something. No, not really. I get my thumb stuck. And, and see how tall my daughter is? Cause yeah, she's what, 5'5"? Five, 5'6". Five? <laughs> five, oh, 5'6". Five, I'm 5 foot <laughs> nothing. No, we're going to do it this way. So there's the beautiful Jeep. Oh my gosh, look at that. JD, tell us all about it. Okay. What are all the features? Did you guys do anything to it after you got it? Uh, a lift and we took off. There used to be like steps right here. We took them off. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Cause I, I need them. Um, what did you say we were you were gonna get on it? Like these fold down stairs and I go today? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh new tires, new wheels. Cause when look, got it. okay, look. I barely can see in the window. And getting in here is really hard. It's very hard. <laughs> JD climbs in, no problem. Go ahead. So, so what else? What else is new about the Jeep since you got it? Anything? Uh, didn't we tint it? Tint it? Tint it? Oh yeah, you tinted the windows. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Anything else I need to know about? Uh. Besides the birds pooping on it, I don't think so. <laughs> He's my commentary man. <laughs> Mom is having to like a meltdown because he just ad libs. <laughs> Gee, you're hilarious. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so should we preheat the grill? Yep. Okay, we're preheating the grill. And yeah. Okay. And she's gonna preheat the grill for me and then I'll get the chicken rinsed off. And pat a dry, and <laughs> we'll bring Army Guy in here. Find out what else he can ad lib. <laughs> okay, so it's dinner. Look what we did! Whitney and I made Amish rolls, and she made this beautiful salad with fresh greens. And then we have barbecue chicken from our barbecue sauce that we made together yesterday. That's so awesome. So, are you liking it? Yeah. Okay. You want to eat it? You want to eat it? Because yeah. why? Because we can smell the Amishness smell of these rolls. Oh my gosh. So, we're going to eat dinner. And I'm probably going to say goodbye for today, for this vlog. Let's see if we can get some impromptu, um, I don't know, ad lib from JD. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on.
Oh look! There he is. There's my handsome future son-in-law. Uh, and oh yeah, my grandson. Hi, Katie. Hi, Hi grandson. How you doing? I love you. You love me too. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> we have to verify that. Hello. Let's go eat dinner. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, so um, we are done with dinner, and we had a great evening. Ray is such a great guy for my grandson. I just love it. And my daughter, <laughs> she's funny. We barbecued together. We made bread together. We made those Amish sweet rolls. Amish rolls, I have a video on exactly how to make them. But you can certainly go over to the original recipe, and I'll try to leave the link below if I remember. And um, we had fun. We went to antique, well, not necessarily antique. Their antique vintage thrift store crafting. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of names for them. But we got to go do that today. And now my daughter and Ray have to go back to work tomorrow. Hmm. But it's me and JD time, so I'm exci I'm excited about that. And we're gonna we have a bunch of projects planned. We're gonna go to the park, or we're gonna take the dog for a walk a couple times. I don't know that I'm gonna drive that Jeep, but I mean I could drive the Jeep once I get in. <laughs> but um, JD and I have some projects planned here at the house, and maybe a movie. He wants to watch a movie, and. I don't know if I can sit still, but guys, thanks for coming along and watching, and I appreciate you so much for indulging me in this little vacation, and I can tell you I miss my husband, <laughs> I miss my dogs, and Miss Roxy, oh, Miss Roxy, I have to do laundry tomorrow, um, she's a doll, she's a sweetheart, we love her, so we'll take her for a walk tomorrow. All right, guys. Can't wait to see you next time. Tomorrow. That's when it's going to be. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm.